Kozak and welcome to episode 2 of this Arduino tutorial series. If you didn't catch last week's episode where we wrote an awesome Arduino program that blinked an LED, you can find the link below. Um, in today's episode, we will be turning an Arduino Uno into an Arduino on a breadboard. So we will be using the same sketch we wrote last week that blinks an LED um, as our sketch on our Arduino board. Some of the um, parts in today's episode may be hard to get, so if you don't have them, um, I would still encourage you to follow along in case you want to build this awesome project later. Okay, so enough talking, let's get on to building and creating this awesome Arduino on a breadboard. Okay, so let's take a look at the hardware we will be using for this build. You will need an LED. This will be the LED we're attaching to digital pin 13 on the ATmega 328. Also, you will need uh, two sets of jumper wires, one red, one black, one power, one ground, and about 10 each. You will also need a 60 megahertz crystal oscillator along with a push button and a 10K resistor to go along with that push button. You will also need a 220 ohm resistor to go along with the LED. Next, you will need an ATmega328. This will be our essential IC chip um, of this project today. Lastly, you'll need a breadboard. And as a power supply, I am using uh, my Arduino Uno with its onboard regulated 5 volt and ground power supply. The reason we're not building our own power supply today with um, some voltage regulators and capacitors is because we're still early on in the tutorial series and we want to stick with the basics. Okay, so let's um, get on to building an Arduino Uno on the breadboard. Okay, so let's start by adding our power supply to our board. So add your 5 volt power supply and your ground to the power rails on the breadboard. Next, um, add in your ATmega328 chip, um, just somewhere near here is good and also add your push button right above the um, chip like this. So as you can see here, we have a reset pin. So what we wanna do is grab our 10 um, K resistor and basically bring this down to, um, down to uh, five volts like that. So we are going from pin one I believe so the reset pin right there down to 5 volts we also um, want to add a connection that goes from this pin of the push button like that to this resistor so in between the resistor and the reset pin like that and then we want to connect um, this end of the reset button down to um, ground like that. Okay, and now we're gonna add some power and ground rails to the chip. Um, let's connect pin um, seven right here to um, the power rail. Sorry, pin seven. It's hard to see this because I'm like on the other side here. So I'll try my best. And then we want to connect pin eight to ground, just like that. And then on the other side of the board, we want to connect um, pin 21 and pin 20 to five volts. So here's pin um, 21 to five volts. And then here is pin 22 to 5 volts. Also, we want to connect pin, oh yeah, sorry, 22 to ground, like that. So we have pin 22 to ground, pin 21 to 5 volts, and pin 21 to 5 volts, like that. And, um, okay, so that's it for the major connections for power and ground on here. Next, we wanna add our crystal oscillator um, to pin 9 and 10. So it's just going between pins 9 and 10 like that. So simply like that. And that's good. And now we want to add in our LED to digital pin 13 like that. So we're going to get one of our power um, jumpers. 
and connect it to digital pin 13 and just add that connection like that. We also want to get our 220 ohm resistor and um, attach it from here to ground. So just right by, um, right by the um, digital pin 13. So that's coming from digital pin 13 um, to here. Now on the LED, um, once again, we have our positive lead, the longer lead, and our negative lead, the shorter lead. So the longer lead is going to go to digital pin 13, and then the shorter lead is going to connect to the 220 ohm resistor, which is also going to ground, just like that. Okay, um, let's see if we've missed anything. Um, no. Okay, I'm just checking for errors. That's good. That's good. Okay, well I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this will work. And yeah, so let's plug in our power. So I'm just gonna plug in my Arduino to the computer. Ah, and see, the LED is blinking. So um, we're gonna just upload like, um, this chip has the Arduino bootloader pre-installed on it, and it also has the blink sketch we did last week installed on it. So like the LED is turning on for one second and then it's turning off for one second. So um, if you were not able to catch um, episode one, um, you can look on it at the bottom left of the screen and also um, take a quick look at the code to make sure you have the right sketch uploaded onto the board. So um, yeah, that's basically um, an Arduino on a breadboard. Um, like we have many of the similar features. Okay, let's take a look at this. We have like our 60 megahertz crystal oscillator. Um, we have our 18 mega 328 right there. Um, we have resistors for the LEDs. So um, yeah, there you go. Congratulations on building your Arduino on a breadboard. Thanks for watching today's episode and congratulations on creating your breadboard Arduino. I hope everything worked out for you. I know some of the parts are a little hard to get, but um, if you order them online, that's basically the only place you can get them in my region. Um, that's where I had to get them. But um, yeah, if you weren't able to build it, um, still I hope you got the concept and how all the parts work together. So don't forget you can find me on Twitter and Facebook at Romanek Kozak. And please stay tuned for next week as once again, um, it'll be a bit more challenging, but we'll look into LCD screens and how we can add cool displays to our Arduino projects. And please don't forget to visit my website techclimax.com where you can find out how to make cool things that explode and how you can read reviews and watch reviews on the coolest and latest gadgets out there. So um, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial please spam the like button. I hate spamming my email but um, I don't know I have to say this please spam that like button and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Catch you next week.